Tick tock, tick tock. The NFL is a ticking time bomb ready to explode right in their face. It's unbelievable. They've had four months to figure this out since March and we're about one week away from training camp and shit's about to hit the fan. The NFL PA and the NFL have been butting heads nonstop these last few weeks. There's so many different issues that are going on. Number one, the NFL is looking for $40 million to be cut for this year. The NFL PA is saying no. And they said, hey, if you don't cut money this year, salary caps can be reduced from $50 million to $70 million next year, 2021. Also, the NFL is telling the Chiefs and Texans they have to report to camp on Monday. It's kind of crazy because if they don't show up, they get fined for not being there. And some players can get fined up to 30 k a day. You know the NFL is screwing this up when your poster boy, Pat Mahomes, even tweets out and says, this is absolutely crazy. We've had so much time to figure this out. And for my Patriots fans out there, here's an important date to realize. Tuesday, July 28th. That's technically supposed to be the first day at training camp for the New England Patriots, but we don't know that. The McCourties got it together on their double coverage podcast, and Devin McCourty had this to say. Uh, Martha said, do you know when you have to be at camp? We do not. We uh, we do not. We, uh, we, do, we have not got any letters for report dates. Um, just to give you like a, a understanding of that, usually when we leave the facility from mandatory mini camp, that would be which is, which is usually in the middle of June. We, we break. already got a letter with what day you have to be back. So it just goes to show everything going on in the communication between the PA and the NFL of trying to get everything to work out. Um, I think that's what's kind of been the holdup of having a report date. Right now, the only thing that I can uh, guarantee you is that there are a lot of questions and not a lot of answers. It's crazy that you even have veterans in the NFL that have no idea what's going on. And the NFL has been doing little things like, hey, we made these Oakley face guards. This will help uh, stop the spread of COVID during the games. Or, hey, you guys can tackle each other, spit on each other, talk with each other during the game. But after the game, you guys can't do jersey swaps. And the players have been seeing this and they've been calling out the bullshit all over social media. NFL's also done other things that players can opt out of the season by August 1st if they give them a written notice. They also are telling teams for traveling, you have to wear mask at all times, 50% capacity on buses, and you have to leave a seat next to each other open. They've also put out a guideline where the NFL PA and the NFL both agreed on where it's a guideline for training camp, how strength and conditioning happens, how the training camp goes, X, Y, and Z. I just think this is an absolute train wreck of what we're about to see. Next month, when these players start getting together, cases are going to start rising in the NFL. The NFL doesn't care about player safety. They care about this thing, and that's money. They know us as the fans will watch, will buy into it. We've been wanting football so bad. But is it going to be worth it when they play for two or three weeks, and then they postpone the season? Here's my idea to the NFL. The NFL is five and a half months long when you take the regular season and playoffs. Let's just skip the season and start February 1st. February 1st, 12 game season. You can start the playoffs in May, Super Bowl in June. You go right into the combine, you go right into the draft, and then the new season starts in July. And I'm guessing by February, there has to be a vaccination out there. We'll figure out and we'll get through the fall and winter time with the cases of COVID that are gonna rise. And the NFL won't skip a beat. Other than that, it just seems like the owners are money hungry, the league's money hungry, the players, unfortunately, their safety's not there. We need more players like Pat Mahomes to start speaking up. We need more players to be out there and saying, our safety is at risk, we cannot do this. And I feel like that won't happen until training camp happens, until the preseason happens. They might cut the entire preseason at this time. Nonetheless, the NFL PA, the NFL, their button heads, we have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen. It's unfortunate to say, player safety isn't a concern.